Well, we're starting to get chilly nights, and Micah, I just want to let you know that the worms in Gilligan's Island seem to be doing just fine. I've got um, one of my compost rolls down here at the edge. It's in a in a green and brown bag, so it kind of looks like the same green of the of the uh, turtle, but it's actually different. So if I put my probe into the regular bedding mix. It, this probe takes a long time to take a reading. So I know it's not, well, I actually don't know that it's not 14 degrees in there. Uh, that's what it tells me. Mm, it's 14.3. It's still going down a bit because it was quite chilly last night. And it's only 1030 in the morning. So it hasn't warmed up very much, but you know, the volume of the material, the bedding in this worm bin will not fluctuate in temperature as much as the outside air because it has insulating properties. And of course, as you know, we've got cow manure in here, which also can be gently heating. It is aged, but nevertheless. Okay, so now I'm gonna, oh, it's hard to poke because this they haven't punctured through the, um, the bag yet so let me see if I can do something with the fork I mean this is a compost this these are very tough uh, grocery bags so this was an, an experiment for me to see if if these um, compost rolls I'm just going to use my hand because the fork isn't allowing me to have accurate enough movement. Now, we're just trying to see if any worms have found, oh, I can smell the apple. Now, normally, if you can smell, it means the worms haven't totally composted something, but uh, I do see movement down there. I do see movement, so it looks like it looks like we have a visitor into the compost roll remember i put apple all through this compost roll and there it is apple 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 so the worms haven't got in there yet they're only on the very outside edge yeah so these brown paper bags they're going to take a long time to break down so my strategy of using this for heat for the worms this is long 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 term heat because this has been in there oh, over a, a week now and it still hasn't broken down it's so so that the worms can get into it now I did a few other things over here I put in some whole fresh apples I should say that we froze them first. Um, yeah, you can see that the thermometer is now registering just almost 13 degrees. So it is more um, cooler, the air temperature, than the bin temperature. So let me just go under the apple and see if the apple is warming. Now the bin temperature was 14.3. So you can see that the apple is decomposing and with that decomposition comes some heat and there's some nice heat building up for the worms so with an outdoor air temperature of just under 13 uh, if the worms go near those apples the temperature is going to feel more like 16 is it going to stop there yeah 16.1 16.2. So have the worms found these apples yet? Now I did try to puncture the apples a little bit because apples actually, you know when you bite, oh, there's a worm right down there. When you bite into an apple, uh, the skin is tough. You know, your front teeth go crunch through the apple. Well, you know, worms have a tough time getting through that apple too. They have to wait for the microbes to break down the apple skin. So what I tried to do with my fork here, you see I'm just puncturing some holes into the apple, which will allow 
when the worms crawl around the apples, and there were more apples than this, so if I go over here, see there are more apples. Yeah, so there are apples through here that the worms can find. Oops, I still got lots of this coconut core hanging basket mat over there. So now we've come out to 16.4 under those apples. Let's go into these deeper apples and see what the temperature is there. Let's see. Oh, look at that, 16.9, 17. So you see those ones that were um, a little bit deeper into the bedding, they are heating up nicely, 17.5. Now these temperatures are perfectly comfortable for the worms. In fact, they're gonna love being in those temperatures. 17.8, that's like just a beautiful warm bedding for them. Not, not super warm, just on the, actually the low end of warm, but for winter, oh, and I guess I could use the temperature probe here to just poke holes in the apples. Get, let the worms get into them faster. Yeah, I can see worms crawling on the apple already. See him there? See the worm on the apple? Yeah, and worms underneath the apples. So these whole apples are doing a great job of exactly what I wanted them to do, which is provide some gentle heat for the worms in these cooler fall nights. And I did one last thing. And that is yesterday, Granddad and I put our first big compost roll in here. Again, these are all experimental compost rolls. We don't know whether um, this type of compost roll is going to be successful. It's a fast food takeout container and it's, um, it's got, um, the same apple uh, mixture mixed into it with, um, with, oh, this one's got egg cartons. Now the worms won't be in it yet because we just put it in here and, and we put it in quite late at night. So you'll see that, that I just sort of hurriedly threw some material on the top of it, but it's not even well buried. So what I can show you is why we were kind of late getting everything together yesterday is Granddad and I went out and we got the worms the biggest present you can imagine. I'm just moving my scooter around here. Let me just go over to here, Micah. This trailer is full of the most beautiful composted horse manure. And I can just take you down here. Let me just go a little bit. There's Flash. Hi, Flash. And Granddad unloaded a bit of the horse manure last night, but look at this. Oh, yes, Flash. Now, there are worms in this horse manure. Um, this is straight from a farm. It's about three years old. It's just beautiful, Micah. And so, their worms will absolutely love this. So what I'm going to do today, after I get a few things done this morning, is I'm going to move buckets of this horse manure onto my worm farm, onto Gilligan's Island. And I might, because it's such beautiful stuff, hi Flash, I might actually even move it to, um, uh, to the worm towers, the worm cafe and the can of worms. And because it looks so beautiful. Right, Flash? That's what we're going to do today. Okay, Micah, have a good day. See you in the next video.